What I plan to show you in this video is some more advanced features of working with lists in uh, SharePoint. So what I've got here is a pretty typical list. So what I've got is obviously is a number of columns here and they're all about contact. So first name, last name, full name, email address and it goes all the way across the page. So there's a fair amount of fields that I need to fill in here. Now if I was to go in and enter these manually, I'd go in and create a new item. I'd then fill in the first name, the last name, have to put in all those details, then go save uh, and then go and create a new record, a new record, a new record and ongoing. So that makes it quite involved once you want to create a very large uh, list here. Now what we can do is if we go to list up the top here, you'll see that I can put it into something called quick edit mode. So when I push quick edit mode you'll see that the list changes to something that looks like a spreadsheet here. So again what I can do is is I can quickly type in the names, hit tab and move towards the next field and so on throughout my list there. Now basically what you're noticing here this begins to look very much like a spreadsheet. So if I use my arrow keys I can move backwards and forwards, I can move up and down. Now when I move down a record you'll notice that little icon here uh, spins and it saves it and updates it. So if I go in here now and start uh, adding a new record you see that I get the edit icon here up here meaning that I'm editing that record. Now it will allow me to move backwards and forwards um, as required until I move off this record. So you watch as soon as I move off this record the icon here will basically change. You'll see it spin as it saves and updates the information there. So this now makes it really easy for me to go and work and enter a whole bunch of information just by moving around as I do with a spreadsheet. But what you may not also be aware of is I now also have the ability to cut and paste from something like Excel. So spreadsheet to spreadsheet. So what I've got here is I have a spreadsheet um, in this, exactly the same format. So what you'll notice here I have exactly the same number of columns with the same formatting. So again if we look at that last name, first name, full name, email address, if I go back to my SharePoint list you'll see that it's is exactly the same format. So provided we have a one-to-one -one mapping of the format what I can now do is I can now for example go down here and let's pick a couple of records copy those all the way across so we have all the information again I've got a copy like for like now if I go back to my SharePoint and what I do here is if I select the first column with the checkbox you'll notice that it highlights the whole row now if I paste this in so if I go control V now that I've copied that um, I'm prompted to allow access yep which I want to do and allow access from my clipboard and you'll now see that it's pasting that information in from my spreadsheet and you'll notice that it's writing those records in so what I've done again basically is I've made sure that I've got a one-to-one -one layout mapping between my spreadsheet and also my SharePoint list and if I do I can then copy from SharePoint so I can copy the records from there and paste them directly into here. So that's an easy way. Now because I'm still in my quick edit mode, again I can move in here. If I want to get something rid of something that's in a cell, I just hit the delete. Uh, what I can do obviously now is if I select maybe this whole row again by selecting the very first um, item there, if I hit the delete key, you'll see now I'm prompted as to whether I want to delete this whole row and send it to the recycle bin. So in this case I've selected yes. Now another way that it is similar to a spreadsheet is, is for example if we go on this cell you'll see that I have basically an item here in the bottom right hand corner that I can grab and I can drag down here. So if I grab and drag this down say three cells you'll notice as it does in Excel it copies from the original into the source uh, into the destination cells. So again I can use this to drag and drop and copy um, from one record to another. So if you have a field in here which is maybe a choice or something that you want similar between a number of records you can just go to that bottom right hand corner and basically form fill down there. So again nice and easy, simple to work with, very similar to Excel. And again, one of the things I could do very much like a spreadsheet is if I select this um, cell and go Control C, you'll see that 
I get an indication that it has been copied. If I go to the cell above it and hit Control V to paste, you'll see that I'm able to paste information. So when I finished editing in this quick edit mode, I simply put it back into view and those changes are saved and updated. So now if I want to edit it, uh, for example, I have to uh, select the record and then I need to go back to items and then I need to edit the item as I've always done. So this brings me back to the original long way of doing it. But uh, in most cases, it's much easier to go to list, to go to quick edit, make the changes that you want as though you are in a, a, a spreadsheet and then once that's saved and updated you can then go back to view and all of that information will be updated for you. Now remember once it's in quick uh, quick view what you can do is is you can then also copy and paste from things like a spreadsheet to make data entry really quick and really easy. So there's some more advanced tips on using lists in SharePoint. Thank you very much for watching.